a kind, ambitious leader. That's how mentors describe Sarah Lasso, a sophomore at Columbus High School. Having just won the State American Legion oratorical competition Saturday for the second time, the young speaker is already making strides. Now she's focused on the next step, the national competition in April, where Lasso will represent Nebraska. When we caught up with her, she was already preparing for this public oration, a dramatic poetic interpretation. What happens to a person when you live in this world and you can't believe anything, and the things you don't want to believe are the things that are actually true? Her speech coach, Mark Bow, has faith she'll succeed. Obviously very well prepared. <laughs> she uh, is, is very dedicated and uh, very talented, and she will do well. After completing her education and sweeping the speech stages of their awards, Lasso dreams of studying law to become a politician. She hopes to strengthen the country's dedication to its constitution, as she emphasized in her last speech. Looking at the inauguration, Lasso says today's politicians could do well to remember the Constitution and its three branches of government. The founding Fathers, they understood oppression, and that's why they designed the Constitution. The Constitution is pretty much the DNA of America. It is the foundation where we um, set our laws, it's our basis. I, I'm waiting to see what is going to happen with the new president, and I would like to see um, them just stay to, true to the Constitution, because I really do think that is important. If we consider history as just the study of past events, we are ignoring at its core the lessons that events could bring to us all. In Columbus, Carolyn Conti, News Channel, Nebraska.